<clears throat> hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to my huge channel, everybody. It has been a while I've been sitting somewhere and talking to you. As you know, I moved here and I didn't buy too many things. Like I've been to one or two sample sales, I think, uh, and that was it because I was really protective with my money and stuff, to be honest, because life is hard, we know it. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't know why, but I, I found a few pieces also in the stores that I've been to and I will show you throughout this video. I hope you like this video. Tell me down below what you bought um, in sales season or just in season, winter season, what you got because I really, really like inspiration from you guys as well because I think everybody uh, following this channel has crazy style. I mean, this is just what I see if you send me pictures on Instagram or something, I'm like, what the fuck, these people dress better than me. Like, no, teach me, uh, show me things. I also want to show you things and talk a bit about my personality and also this helps you maybe to find the right style concerning your own personality. Uh, I had the chance, I just want to start with one store. I bought something from Farfetch and it's something pretty crazy, pretty amazing. Uh, you know, they have a crazy, huge selection. I, I think it's probably the online retailer with the biggest selection of brands, especially also when it comes to niche brands, you know, in many online shops, you just have like the big names, but here I can find pieces from brands like, I don't know, Nancy Dujaka, Wales Bonner, whatever, or this special piece that I got. Just, I, I want you to talk about it and to make a statement about it. So I got myself this one. This is a JW Anderson handbag, as you might have recognized if you know it. And there is some kind of anime on it. It has the print of Rune Honey on it, which was a Korean comic. And it had like 13 episodes. It, was, it ran between 1985 and 1988. And it is telling the story of Honey who is a little girl, I think a 13 year old girl whose mother died and she's kind of obsessed with the death of her mother as well. And she's like a marginalized character with a lot of problems and issues she needs to deal with. And um, yeah, it's a very strong character. So when I saw that and I just knew this anime or manga, I think it's officially a manga, correct me if I'm wrong. I really like the tie-dye here and Jonathan Anderson, as you know, he loves collaborations and using prints on his design. So this is something I liked. I think it's pretty cute to wear it like this. It's very different. I think you will not see a lot of people with this handbag. And I think the price is pretty good. I know it's not an everyday bag, but I think it's 650 or something. So um, I think it's great. And it's something not everybody will have. So this piece I love and I can only recommend. I think it will be it's it's in it piece and it's way better than a fendi clutch or i don't know a chanel or another one that i bought it's crazy and that i found in a store is this marnie handbag and you might know it it's a i would say it's it's an it piece like because no i would not say it's an it piece because uh for me to be an it piece, you need to be a bit iconic. I would not call this an iconic bag, not at all. Especially if this looks like a bit Haiti style. But the very first time since I saw it, and um, this is a handbag from, it smells a bit, you know, it, it smells like le leather, but the goat kind of leather. It smells like goat. When you wear this bag, you pay so much money and it's good. No, but this is second hand, but I think it was never used to be honest. Um, I got it from a second-hand store and as you see it looks it is hand-painted everything is handmade uh, I'm not a huge fan of this Marnie bag model in overall because you know it's a very classic model that Marnie has it's one of the best sellers it looks like this from the inside but I have to say I'm surprised by how much fits inside it's crazy so it's super practical this is from the spring 2021 collection so the story about this is also, it's one of my favorite Marnie collections ever that uh, he did. It's also very strongly influenced by COVID and by not being able to design as he usually did. Um, I think the design process of the Spring Summer 21 collection was also consisting of like having to tie dye or to dye overall stuff in the bathroom because he couldn't go into the showroom, he couldn't go into the factory or whatever. 
learning to print himself, learning to use drawings, getting inspiration via video calls from his friends, whatever. And it's a lot, there are a lot of messages on it, you know, Marnie Lover says, see the light at the end better. Oh, uh, for sure, I don't know, love, uh, love, love, listen, defend, you know, it's like a lot of words and I just like it. I think it's super, honestly, first of all, I just love the colors and it's super cute. And it's again, oh, and here also super interesting what's, what the strap is saying. It says, we are in the darkest hour, find light. Uh, and if I open this, it says inside you. It's cool, right? I open it and then it says like inside you, feel the embrace. So these are the things that I bought. And of course, I'm a big fan of buying, uh, going maximalist when it comes to buying pieces because it's so much easier. I'm sorry. All these videos of finding the perfect hoodie, finding the perfect black shirt. Honestly, like, I don't know what you guys are all searching, but if I drop $200 and get like the best sweatshirt in the world, I get the best t-shirt in the world. Uh, of course, if you want to spend 10 euros, 15 euros, it might not be as easy, but nobody tell me it's super hard to create a core wardrobe. You need good pieces. And honestly, these don't have to be minimalistic pieces. You can have a very extraordinary coat that can be part of your everyday life. Um, I wouldn't say I have only crazy pieces in my day-to-day -day life, but definitely like the, there always should be something a tiny bit abnormal about your look. You know, if you want your style to be the personification of your characteristics, it shouldn't be plain. And if your character is plain, it's fine. But if your character is super colorful, extravagant, avant-garde it should also look like that you know and you don't have to get, go all in i don't say where rick owens had to toe but um even if you wear a puffer it should be in a crazy puffer you know if, if it's pants if you love wool pants it should be like double double layered wool with pockets on it or you know something more because we need something if you're a creative person and if you're capable of creating and building your own style, you need to make it as strong as possible. It's important to have a strong style in terms of visualization. So other pieces that are super interesting, I think if you are in search of, let's say you are in search of your perfect wardrobe that you want to create and you want it to be more like consisting of basic pieces and not the extravagant pieces that I usually propose. There is also, uh, for example, what I've been looking for for a long time are the Gisanda boots. You might know them, it's like that they're, I think it's also one of their best sellers, the riding boots. And I've seen them in a store, I also saw uh, that Farfetch has them. Uh, and I saw them in real life in the store as well and I tried them on because I wanted to touch them and get emotionally prepared to own them uh, in a hopefully uh, predictable uh, period of time. They're amazing. It's really, I know it's not the cheapest pair of shoes, but they really fit perfectly. They're super soft. They still don't lose their shape. To me personally, that's important. I don't, I love the shape of riding boots, but I don't want them to look like super loose or anything. So this is a piece I would definitely recommend. You can find the link down below um, if you want to have it. Another piece that I think is very good if you want a handbag, because that's the next thing I'm thinking of, because now I need a literal dupe to my Chanel bag is the typical square model of Jill Zanda that they have in various colors. I like the black one a lot because I think it as black always does would look perfectly with a lot of looks. Um, I would really like to have one um, to complete my wardrobe I would say. just left the broken arm and for the first time ever I actually uh, got something it's actually pretty good 
And what well, the best thing is they also say, for example, Prada. So I haven't seen anywhere Prada for 30 or 40 percent off. They have pieces, which still isn't enough, of course. I got something else I can't wait to show you. It's a menswear piece uh, by one of my favorite brands, but it fitted me. And now I'm going to Mercy store. Uh, I did vlog from there once. And it's it's not they don't have anything fashionable for women, so no interesting brands. But menswear is interesting. They have like Beams Japan and uh, other like I, I wouldn't I don't know if it's niche, but like super small brands that I'm not aware of. So the men's section is super interesting. Usually I like to, and they have a nice homeware section as well. So I will have a look there now. By the way, I'm crossing La Perle right now. Let me see. So if you're a person in fashion, you better be here when it's fashion week. You cannot uh, even sit there. Yeah, everybody's standing here on the street and yeah, everybody's super cool. Because if you think you're cool, you should definitely be here and not somewhere else. That's La Perle. Uh, I managed to get into Uniqlo now uh, in terms of fast fashion, what I try to not do anymore. I need to stop using Uniqlo as a place. Uh, why I find satisfaction because it's uh, I cannot come here. It's my therapy place where I get every time I enter it, I buy something. Okay, I didn't get anything at Uniqlo, which is something good for once. I tried on stuff that was like five sizes too big because I have this weird uh, behavior that when I go to a store that is a bit more cheap, I want the cheap stuff, so I wore these that were say around uh, 10 euros. Uh, it was a size 32, which is like five sizes too big. I tried them on. Uh, anyway. Hey guys. Um, I'm talking to you now while having very loud Arctic monkeys uh, on my ears. But <laughs> I did manage to get my phone, it's in my handbag. And it's, it's so windy. I'm dying right now. So today is Sunday, my second weekend day. And as you might have realized, I dedicated this weekend to shopping. Um, I don't know what's wrong right now. Like, I would not recommend anybody shopping too much. By the way, I'm here at Opera. And this is where I want to go now. Just to have a look, I'm sure they have like 30% off, but maybe more. And Kimchi has a great uh, selection, you know, they have like Yancy do Jaka. A lot of uh, pieces uh, of brands that Galerie Lafayette doesn't have. Like, by the way, Galerie Lafayette is like a go to place uh, for the tourists. And Ponton is definitely a way better selection uh, it's so cold that I can't think of the names right now but there are many yeah I'm going there right now let's see what they have
Hello, 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 welcome to my huge channel. Hello, 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 welcome back to my huge channel. Uh, this is actually the ending of my video, so this is where I'm uh, sitting on a couch and watching Luis's video about Dior. So let's see what we see about Maria Grazia, but no, um, this video is about my shopping haul kind of uh, ownings, but I, I don't want to show actually too much stuff that you should buy or that you need, but I think since it's sale season, you should have a clue of what is available, and even though all the stores are in Paris, they all have online shops, so it's something that is also approachable for you and uh, buyable for you if you like the stuff that I wore, tried on, I got myself. So I hope you like this video, but uh, be sure that I'm very soon coming with content that is a bit more insightful, uh, uh, you know, despite these basic shopping topics, so a bit more designer themes are upcoming. And don't forget to subscribe if you love this content, which you absolutely do. Like, I have no, uh, I'm not questioning this. So, uh, yeah. Bye.